Hi, this is Morley, and this is the M-Wire. In Wisconsin, a suspended police officer had his home invaded uh, by BLM protesters, and they apparently tried to kill him. Um, there were shots fired with his girlfriend and kids present. This was a mob of like approximately 60 people or so. Uh, this is this is getting pretty intense, if you ask me. Joseph Mensa, Wisconsin police officer, says BLM protesters tried to kill him. Joseph Mensa, a black police officer in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin, has been the focal point of controversy over three fatal on-duty shootings as protesters assaulted, tried to kill, and sh shot at him and his girlfriend in their house on Saturday night, August 8th. He claims they were chanting Black Lives Matter during the incident. In a Facebook post written in the early morning hours of August 9th, Mensa wrote, Last night, protesters came to my girlfriend's house while I was there and tried to kill me. I was unarmed and tried to defend my property and the property of my girlfriend. We were both assaulted, punched, and ultimately shot at several times. A gunshot round missed me by inches. Not once did I ever swing back or reciprocate any of the hate that was being directed to me. I am all for peaceful protest, even against me, but this was anything but peaceful. They threw toilet paper in her trees, broke her windows, and again shot at both of us. They were trying to kill me. There are children that live there, and they knew that. The irony in all of this is that they chanted Black Lives Matter, but had zero regard for any of the black children that there or me a black man. Van Mays, a prominent and controversial Black Lives activist in Milwaukee, wrote heavy through Facebook and being asked to comment, what I will say is that they are taking advantage of the moment. I can't say who did what. What I can say is I didn't lead a damn thing and what happened should not have. Yes, they got into a scuffle with some protesters. From what witnesses say, Mensa grabbed one of the protesters' weapons on a sling and the gun fired. You can read May's full comment later in the article. After reaching out to Mensa for comment, he wrote heavy through Facebook. There is a difference between a peaceful protest and a plan to trespass on private property with the intent to damage it. My girlfriend and I had every right to defend the property and those that trespassed on it. At the end of the day, protesters chose to come to the house. No one forced them to. They chose to stay, they chose to damage property, they chose to assault us. In their decision to come on the porch, continue their assault on unarmed and defenseless police officers and ultimately try to kill me was their decision and their decision alone. The accident is currently under investigation and the evidence will speak for itself. The morning after the incident, a Wabatosa police car was sitting near the home, remnants of toilet paper and silly string and crime scene tape were visible in the yard and a window appeared smashed. On July 25, Mensa wrote on his Facebook page, If black lives matter, which I wholeheartedly do believe, then all the lives of the black men and women in law enforcement matter just as much. Our uniforms may be blue, but our skin is just as black and our heritage is just as rich. We swore an oath to the public but that oath also extends to our families and loved ones, which we will fight, fight to go home each and every day. Not a single march, protest, lawyer, or threat can change the fact that in the eyes of God, our lives are just as important. Mensa was suspended with pay in June after shooting and killing three people while on duty in the last five years. The first shooting dates to 2015 John Chisholm. The Milwaukee District attorney found the two shootings to be justified self-defense. He's still reviewing the third shooting of Alvin Cole outside a major shopping mall, Mayfair, which occurred in February. In all three cases, police say the people were shot were armed, two with firearms and one with a sword, police say, although community activists and family members have raised questions about the shootings and respectfully called for Mensa termination and prosecution. Police have said cold fired first at Mensa, which activists question. Jay-Z's social group has called for Mensa firing in advertisements, writing, If you fail to prosecute Mensa, you're doing a disservice to the legacies of Alvin Cole, Antonio Gonzalez, and Jay Anderson. 
ignoring all of the black, brown, and LGBTQ citizens in your county, county and essentially allowing of the possible future catastrophe. After the death of George Floyd, the mall Mayfair has become the center of major protest in Tementa, as has City Hall and the police department. Many people called for the officers firing at a community meeting held by officials. The situation has been tense for some time. At that meeting, one man got attention by telling officials that he, if the officer is allowed to keep his job, he would drive around with his headlights out until he finds him. In the midst of that turmoil, the Wauwatosa Common Council passed a resolution urging Mensa's firing. The resolution says it is imperative that the city facilitate the transition of Officer Mensa from employment to the Wauwatosa Police Department. The Fire and Police Commission, which has power to fire Mensa, then suspended him with pay and it was announced that the former U.S. attorney will investigate all three shootings. A press release provided to Heavy by the City of Wauwatosa Police Department detailed the incident. On August 8, 2020, at approximately 8.05 p.m., a large group gathered in the area of North 100th Street and West Vienna Street in the city of Wauwatosa. The group, estimated to be between 50 and 60 people, targeted the private residence of Wauwatosa police officer Joseph Mensa and began to vandalize the home. Officer Mensa attempted to establish a dialogue with the group and was ultimately physically assaulted outside of his home. As Officer Mensa retreated into his home, armed protesters approached the rear door and a single shotgun round was discharged by a member of the group into Officer Mensa's back door. The Wauwatosa Police Department received assistance in dispersing the crowd from numerous neighboring agencies. And the article goes on. I'll uh, link it in the description box, but this is absolutely terrible. I mean, the the mob is moving to the suburbs, folks. It's it's getting serious. I thank everyone for coming along to my video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate that. And God bless you all.